Hi friends, myself Subrata Mukherjee and you are watching my channel Dr. Subrata Mukherjee Distance Learning in Commerce. Today I am going to discuss another problem on consignment account. This is lecture number 6 and you can find all the lectures on consignment in the playlist section of the channel. I'd like to request all the viewers to subscribe my channel and to browse the playlist section where I have uploaded lectures on accounts costing financial management and management accounting. Gavaskar of Bombay sent 100 TV sets to Kapil of Chandigarh on consignment basis. The cost price of each set is rupees 5000. Gavaskar paid rupees 100 for cartage, rupees 1500 for railway freight and rupees 400 for insurance premium. He drew a bill payable after two months for rupees 50,000, which was accepted by Kapil by way of security against the consignment. He then discounted the bill for rupees 49,900. Kapil paid rupees 600 as go down rent and rupees 400 as sundry expenses. He sold 90 sets at the rate rupees 5400 per set. But he could not realize the sale proceeds of 5 sets from the customers. He was entitled to receive 4% ordinary commission and 1% del creda commission. The net amount due from Kapil was received in time. Prepare the consignment account, Kapil account and advance against consignment account in the books of Gavaskar. So here we have to prepare in the books of Gavaskar in the books of Gavaskar consignment to Chandigarh account. Now Gavaskar sent to Kapil worth rupees 5 lakhs uh, of goods on consignment. So in the consignment to Chandigarh account I have to write here as to goods sent on consignment account rupees 5 lakh. So how I arrived at rupees 5 lakh? 100 TV sets costing rupees 5000 each. So if we multiply 100 with 5000, we will get 5 lakhs. Now Gavaskar paid cash on account of cartage rupees 100, railway freight 4 rupees 1500 and insurance rupees 400. So Gavaskar paid rupees 2000 for sending the goods on consignment. Now goods were received by Kapil and Kapil paid for go down rent. So in consignment account I have to write consignment to Chandigarh account debit to Kapil and the amount paid by Kapil for go down rent is for rupees 600 and sundry expenses for rupees 400. So amount spent by Kapil is for 1000 rupees. Now 90 TV sets were sold by Kapil at the rate of 5400. So in consignment account I have to write by Kapil account and on account of sale 90 TV sets were sold out at the rate of 5400. So 4,86,000 is the amount of sales made by Kapil. Now we have to value the unsold stock lying with Kapil for 10 TV sets. So I am writing here as by unsold stock. So I have to do a small calculation for valuing the unsold stock. So here I am preparing as working note number one, valuation of unsold stock. So how many stocks were there? 10. So cost of 10 
टीवी सेट्स इज रुपीज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड टेन मल्टीप्लाई बाई फाइव थाउजेंड इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड एंड प्रोपोर्शनेट एक्सपेंसेस ऑफ गावस्कर सो गावस्कर पेड रुपीज टू थाउजेंड फॉर हंड्रेड टीवी सेट्स so for 10 tv sets 200 is the amount and there were no non recurring expenses paid by kapil so we have not recording any amount as non recurring proportionate expense of kapil in valuing the closing stock so the value of closing stock is 50200 and i have to show it in consignment account as 50200 in unsold stock now kapil is entitled to a commission so i have to write in consignment account as to kapil account for ordinary commission 4% is paid to kapil on 4% on sales that is 486000 you will get 19440 and for del credit commission at the rate of 1% on 486000 you will get 4860 so total amount of commission paid to kapil is for 24300 so now the balancing figure in consignment account represents profit on consignment profit on consignment this is the balancing figure and you will get the total of credit side is 536200 and balancing figure is 8900 so please have a look at the consignment account prepared here so you will find Uh, on credit side the amount of sales effected by kapil for rupees 486000 and i have valued the unsold stock at rupees 50200 so cost of 10 set is 50000 and the proportionate expense of gavaskar is rupees 200 and the amount that has been debited to consignment account is for the cost of uh, goods sent on consignment for rupees 5 lakh amount paid by consigner that is um, uh, paid by gavaskar is for 2000 rupees an amount incurred by kapil for rupees 1000 and amount paid to kapil as commission for rupees 24300 and the balancing figure in the consignment account is rupees 8900 which is the profit on consignment discount of bill for rupees 100 has been treated as general finance charge and hence not debited to consignment account now we have to prepare two more ledgers one is the advance against consignment account and the other the kapil account so in advance against consignment i am writing on the credit side as by bills receivable account so amount of bills receivable accepted by kapil was for 50000 so this 50000 was paid as security uh, for 100 tv sets so there were 10 sets lying with kapil the balance amount uh, in advance against consignment account for 10 tv sets will be written as two balance cd as 50000 multiplied by 10 by 100 so this 50000 was sent as a security for 100 tv sets since there were 10 tv sets lying with kapil so the balance in the advance against consignment account was for rupees 5000 and the balancing amount figure of 45000 will be treated as the amount received by gavaskar from kapil so the balancing figure of 45000 will be treated as income by gavaskar so 50000 is the sum total of debit and the credit side So fifty thousand is the amount that has been paid by mm. Kapil to Gavaskar as an advance against consignment for one hundred TV sets. Since 
10 TV sets were lying with Kapil. So balance in advance against consignment account will be for 5,000 rupees and the balancing figure of 45,000 will be treated as income by Gavaska from Kapil. So in Kapil account, I can write here as by advance against consignment account for rupees 45,000 and in the debit side I have to transfer from consignment account so this is 486,000 this is the amount of sales made by Kapil it is recorded on the credit side of consignment account now that amount has been transferred here and on the credit side of Kapil account I have to transfer the amount from consignment account so 1000 is the amount paid by Kapil and 24300 is the amount of commission receivable by Kapil. So total is 25300 and the balance amount was remitted by Kapil to Gavaska and this is the balancing figure. So this will be 415700. So the three ledgers that I uh, I have prepared in the books of Gavaska is the consignment account then advance against consignment account and Kapil account. Hope all the students have recorded the question with solution in your notebook and try to follow the process that I have adopted here to solve this question. In spite of this if you find any difficulty in understanding feel free to communicate with me through email and the contact number given in the description box. Thank you. Thanks for watching the lecture. 